Hello my art viewers so we are again back with the same process so this is artist bhavna before starting we'll see so previously we have stopped here so again we are continuing if you missed eyebrow and half eye process you can directly go to my channel and search for part 3 of a complete portrait tutorial so yeah i already created a playlist for this special portrait so you can easily access them and let us continue i hope uh, this brush is clearly visible and you can see i'm using 6b grade pencil so i'm using blended point in order to create this blurry look so i don't want the sharp edgy look so i just blended my point so that it will give the blended strokes so you can see how i'm applying we are first creating this eyeball so i'm giving initial strokes here so that it will create an illusion effect and after creating anything you need to blend it properly so that it will absorb and it will sustain and it will give illusion look so if you don't use this makeup brush or normal regular brush you can't blend this smoothly because these are soft process and this will give the soft and finished look when you use uh, the other tools like paper stamp and all you'll get this a uh, blurry look and it is not even also but when you use this makeup brush you'll get even tones and even grades etc so in this way you need to create layer by layer as always i'll say create layer by layer initially as a beginner i used to feel i is really complicated thing and i is really challenging thing but when i started practicing and when i started experimenting i feel i is really mesmerizing thing to draw so i love now i love to draw eyes so you can see how i am lifting my eyelashes in this artwork so observe properly here direction will definitely play a major role so initially i am not applying close eyelashes but just going with the directions and then we'll apply bunchy of eyelashes so bunch of eyelashes you can apply later but first make sure your direction of eyebrows are, like sorry eyelashes are clear and according to my reference image this is the direction which is there i am following the same direction because eyelashes will not have a particular direction to draw it depends on your reference image but generally left towards left right towards right and center straight okay so this is a particular direction you need to follow but according to my reference image i added my eyelashes so after adding i am just blending so this is blending using makeup brush and now we are using mechanical 0.3 pencil so this is very important tool to draw eyelashes eyebrows hair etc so this will create the sharpy edgy look so the sharp edgy look you require when you are drawing hair so yeah always remember while drawing eyelashes make a bushy and bunchy look below but when you are ending up it should look a uh, like thin eyebrow so a uh, near to the eyeball it should look bunchy and going upwards it should look sharp look so it should give sharp look to get this look pushing mechanism will definitely help to achieve this so what is pushing mechanism pushing mechanism is pressing your pencil while you are starting but leaving your pencil you need to release your pencil when you are ending up so here you can see how i'm pushing my pencil so hold push hold and push so this is called pushing mechanism and if you want to try this do try on a rough paper and do experiment and then apply on to your artwork so this is a mechanism 
but you will achieve through practice so to become a pro you need to start practicing simple mechanism of pushing and practice makes your artwork realistic so here you can see near to eyeball i'm adding bunchy look but when i'm ending up it is thin straight and really sharp so this is what our eyelashes will look so stand in front of mirror and you can observe how your eyelashes are looking and you can directly apply onto your artwork always observe the things and then draw if you are not sure with your reference image do stand in front of your mirror and observe because you are a real person and you will need to draw and you should observe things so observation is the main key tool when you start your realistic artwork here always my real time tutorial will give motivation will teach you how to pick up the things so if you want this more tutorials please do comment below and i am ready to provide you lot many so i hope you will really like this video and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and stay connected because subscription is really a matter a lot okay i hope you will understand and please do subscribe and do watch my complete video for clear picture okay mm, yeah now we'll see the here you can see the lower uh, eyelashes towards your right side you can see how i added the lower eyelashes so this is what the eyelashes are bending and you can create that look so i am just adding few strokes here like eyeliner stroke so you need to add this thick eyeliner stroke and it is all set for today and then so here i am using 6b grade pencil you can see and this is artline pencil so if you want to try artline it is very good again the same process you need to blend and that's all this is simple but you need to spend more time so nothing is simple if you spend your own time it is really simple yeah you can create complicated things also very easily when you break into small parts so that is what i'm teaching in this parts you can learn when you break your work into small pieces it is really easy okay in this way we are creating the highlights so these highlights will definitely matter a lot so this is not my final look i'm not satisfied so i want to add 10b grade atlant pencil on it so yes i want to create more bunchy look and yeah she is having mascara to her eyelashes so you know how mascara eyelashes will look so that's why i'm adding 10b grade pencil dear my friends i want to share a personal experience so i hope this will really help you don't sit for hours and hours working on your single artwork so if you sit continuously you will face problem in future so don't strain much and make sure your health is supporting you and always sit in correct position so don't lean on your paper you need to sit straight and draw so that your backbone will be safe enough to support you in future so please don't strain much if you are really young it is really important to you because you have much future in front and if you are planning to take art as career you need to save your life i mean you need to save your backbone so make sure your poster is really steady and it will support you in future i hope these tips are really helpful but don't neglect your health hmm 
after applying 10 big grade pencil um this eyelashes are looking pretty good so i really loved it and yeah we are almost done with eyelashes and mascara look so i'm just blending i'm bringing my shade towards left or right or up yeah this is how you need to shade and it should look realistic so mm, this adding highlights using needle eraser is much important because it will not give white look but it will give blurry look so here you can see i am using tombow mono zero eraser this is my favorite tool and it will really do your work easily so here i'm not satisfied with the right eyelashes so again i'm just enhancing it so yeah we'll use earbud and we'll just blend it here i can't use makeup brush because it is really thin area and you can't use appropriately you can use but it will spread towards right so better use this earbud so earbud is also important tool to blend this is available everywhere so you can see how i'm bringing the shade towards down i hope it is clearly visible and it is looking weird but you need to change let me change later first we'll see skin on eyes so here um, yeah she is having eyeshadow again so this makeup look is really interesting and it is really enchanting work so you need to work a lot when your portrait is having makeup so that is realistic and that is really interesting to do so enjoy doing this makeup look so here we'll apply eyeshadow later first we'll concentrate on skin and folds so this is wrinkles on her eyes you need to create that just i apply two lines and i'm blending using soft makeup brush so this is eyeshadow brush and we are using eyeshadow using this brush so here for every artist eyeshadow is pencil eyeshadow is charcoal eyeshadow is paint and all <laughs> yeah exactly art is life yes 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 and in this way we are applying random strokes and we'll just blend it okay just adding strokes blending adding strokes blending half real makeup will look in that way only we are creating so directly they don't apply like pink yellow orange and all but they'll give the initial layers and then they'll build so in that way only we are using the black gray like light gray dark gray black and all so this is also building so exactly the process is same but colors we are not using so yeah using our pencils only we can create wonders so believe in your pencil and go with the process so near to the wrinkle we need to add few layers so that it should show the difference so upon the layer i mean upon the wrinkle it will create dark shadow so near to eyebrows you need to show lightest tones so in this way i am applying to some extent only the black and dark shadow so in this way after applying again we'll blend it so here note one thing i am not skipping a single process also because to favor you people and you people should not think like she said real time video but she skipped every process and she is showing just enhancing process this is not fair video so in this way you should not think so that's why i'm not at all deleting a single even process so i hope this will really enhance your skills so that's why i'm keeping little single process also please be patient enough to watch this so in this way we are again applying the uh, other grade so it is just blending process as i already said the 
a shade and grade near this wrinkle should be dark and towards i brow it should be light so that difference you need to show are you able to see my difference in shades so this is what you need to achieve so in this way leave the um, upper area and blend the lower area applying few layers so after once you are done with this process let us look this wrinkles okay just apply this lines illusion lines and you need to create this um, illusion effect so let me draw this lines okay this line should not be as straight and it should not be even it should be uh, irregular and even and it should create the realistic look at last realistic artwork you want so to follow the steps you will achieve realistic look only so do follow the steps and in this way here the mono zero eraser will play a major role okay when you want to create illusion effect up of the wrinkle it should be light towards layer like towards a wrinkle towards down you need to add this white highlights so that it will pop up and it will look the realistic wrinkles and shading so in this way also you can apply i am using this a uh, tiny paper stump this is because we can't use a uh, earbud here we can't use makeup brush so this is the only option that is left so i am using tiny paper stump so in this way only you need to blend so towards up it should be light and towards down it should create this illusion effect and you need to give this white highlights so you can see how it is popping up so in this way only you need to add so the lower lashes and skin texture will see in other video so we'll end this video with this uh, final process and enhancement in this way i'm just blending using this tiny paper stump so if you don't have this paper stump you can make your own so in order to make paper stump do watch my previous videos or uh, like i created playlist for tools and tips so you can watch it and in that i created paper stump uh, graphite powder and all you can really enjoy those videos because homemade things it really matters a lot so i hope this video helped you a lot because i am sharing everything so without any hesitation i am sharing everything it is all free of cost but do pay for me by giving your support in terms of subscription so please do subscribe to my channel so if you really love this video please do watch completely and if you are here means i hope you are watching completely and thanks for watching and if you really enjoyed this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel so this is not a single process you need to stay connected so be connected and help me to reach more thanks for watching my complete video and hope this really matters a lot to you and me and thanks stay safe stay happy stay connected and always keep smiling and always love your process so this is artist babna signing off